Okay, I just came from outside and it is way too hot to film out there. So I'm gonna stay inside where it's a lot cooler and let's pass our time away by me sharing some patterns with you guys that I found. I've been itching to cast on a new project, so yesterday I spent most of my afternoon browsing through Ravelry looking for the perfect summer inspired tops because my wardrobe is lacking in this area. I did find 10 knitting patterns, five of them that are tank tops and then five of them are tees, so I'm really excited to share them with you and these are in no particular order, basically the order that I found them and they all use different yarns, different yarn weights, I'll share all that information with you guys and if you are interested in the links they will be down below. I'll link to every single pattern that I mention and yeah let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm very excited for it. The first pattern that I have for you guys I'm actually modeling. This is the Thea Top by Suzanne Mueller. I happened to find this one on Ravelry several months ago. I believe I cast this one on before Christmas actually. <laughs> And it took me a long time to finish, not because it was a difficult pattern or anything, just because I had too many things going on at once, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. I used a worsted weight yarn. I found this one. I was actually looking for a pattern to use this yarn for. It's the, I don't think you can see it. I think it's K plus C um, element. I found it on clearance at Joanne for $2.47 apparently. It's 90% cotton, 10% acrylic. So I bought several of these and then, you know, I get home and I'm like, well, what am I gonna make with it? Because that's typically what happens. I buy yarn before I have a, pa a pattern for it. But I ended up finding the Thea Top. It was very simple. The instructions are great. She has photos to go with it. And for anything that is maybe somebody would think is new or might need a visual. She does have photos, but she also provides links to other people's videos so that you can watch a tutorial on that, which I find very helpful. That's why I create tutorials for my own patterns because that's how I learn. So I was very thankful that she did that. But if you are kind of a beginner and you want to learn a little bit more advanced techniques, I don't think this one's super advanced. Again, with the tutorials, you can totally do it. So I think this is a great beginner pattern. It's mostly stockinette and then one by one rib for the, um, the arms and then for the very bottom. My favorite part of this one was probably the provisional cast on. It was such a cool technique. I'm really excited that I learned it because I've heard about it in a lot of, pod in a lot of podcasts. I just have never done it for myself. So that was a really cool technique and I'm really excited that that pattern actually had it because it makes so much more sense now. This one had just a new, enough new techniques sprinkled in that I was able to gain a lot of knowledge in knitting garments, but also feel comfortable with my skill level. I'm very happy that I was able to knit this one and I'll wear it. I will get a lot of use out of it. The next pattern that I found is called the Easy Bralette and this one is by Svetlana Volkova. I found this one in my Ravelry queue and it was already queued. I have had it in there for a long time and I don't know why I forgot about it. So this pattern, if you don't love it already, because of the ribbing, that's why I love it. The ribbing looks really great. I love the V-neck line and it's got, it is a tank top and I do like that it has a little bit bigger straps. A lot of the other patterns, which some of them I'll show you as well, have more of just like the spaghetti strap. I do like a bit thicker strap just to hide my bra because I do have a bigger chest and I cannot wear things without one. So I do like whenever um, the strap is a little bit thicker and it covers that. So some of the techniques used for this pattern are that it is knit bottom up it is seamless and you do knit it in the round. And if you just browse through the photographs or the projects that people have made for this pattern, you can see how people have modified the length. I think that was the biggest uh, difference in a lot of people's photos. Some people liked it cropped like the bralette where it's a lot shorter. Other people made it a little bit less cropped where you can see just a little bit, but not too much it, where you can kind of tuck it into your jeans a little bit more like this one that I'm wearing. 
but also I saw some people knit like a full tank top so it covers you know a few inches down on the jeans or the shorts whatever they're wearing so I think that that's great about a pattern you can modify it to your liking so that's the easy roulette the next pattern I found is called the knot front crop which is really kind of hard to say but I think this one is beautiful it just speaks for itself that beautiful knot on the front it's honestly such a simple garment it is just basically stockinette but with that unique detail on the front where it's knotted it just gives it a totally different look and i think it's gorgeous beautiful for the summer you could style this with jeans like high-waisted jeans or a skirt and i don't know i just think that you could dress this up or dress it down i forgot to mention the pattern designer's name her name is carrie bloomer and this pattern was designed with a fingering weight yarn in mind. It's knit bottom up. It looks like it's mostly stockinette, but you do have this fun knotted detailing, which is probably knit, but you kind of twist it and sew it together. Or I'm actually not sure if it's sewn together or if you knit it. I've seen those twisted headbands. So I'm wondering if it's like kind of that same concept where you knit them in different pieces and then you kind of just twist them together. So I would be interested to see this one, how it's actually done, but I think this one is gorgeous. The next pattern that I found is called the Lotus Petal Top and this is a design by Iris H. And I just think that this is gorgeous. It transforms this otherwise simple tee into this very interesting and intricate piece because of that lace detailing around the bottom this pattern uses a fingering weight yarn and it is knit bottom up and in the round so it seems like you would have have to pay attention maybe a little bit more to the very beginning since it's knit top or bottom up so you'd have that lace detailing but then you could totally chill out just relax watch um you know watch a movie or something i don't know listen to a book or podcast while you just knit the rest and stock in it. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I haven't actually knit this one yet, but I do think that it's a very beautiful design and it would be perfect for the summer. Like a lot of the other tops, I think that this would look really great styled with jeans or a skirt. And I think that this would also be perfect for work. The next pattern is called the Camille Top by Johanna Garish. And oh my gosh, this is like the pattern of my dreams. <laughs> I have been looking for I've actually been looking for dresses online for that have the the wrap style i just think that they're beautiful and i like the way that they look on my body type and i was just in awe whenever i found this pattern i one i fell in love with the color first i think i saw it like it's just bright yellow and that's like my favorite color it just like popped right off the page so i think that that is you know perfect color for a photo just to grab your attention but also i really love the design of this i think that it looks like it's a lot of fun the way that it sounds like you knit it is that you knit it in like pieces and then you cross them over somehow and connect them and then you add the little peplum bottom to it after you have the top wrap part done i don't know if that makes any sense and i kind of have it figured out in my head but i just don't know if i can get that out in words but it looked like a very fun and interesting and just a great pattern i don't know and it's perfect for the summertime and i honestly can't wait to make this one i might cast it on after this i just have to make sure that i have the yarn for it but yeah i think that this is one of my favorite pieces out of this whole video if i were to choose i just again it's just because it's been a pattern that, or a style of shirt, I guess, that I've been looking for and can't find. So if I can't find it, I'll try to make it for myself. So I think that's why I'm really excited about this one. And hopefully you can see me wear it if I make it in future videos. The next pattern is called the Brooklyn Blouse by Cape Garden. And I am in awe of this one as well. It's a simple raglan style tee, but it's just so girly and i love the flowy nature of the fabric and i don't know the slight v-neck as well i just think that it's a gorgeous gorgeous pattern and honestly this is also one that i really want to cast on right now i i don't know i just see myself wearing this 
I need more shirts to wear to work. <laughs> and this tee would be perfect, I think. I might make it a little bit longer, but yeah, I, I could see myself wearing this one as well. Anyway, this one uses a DK weight yarn and some of the techniques are, it's a raglan style tee and there are eyelets. So it's kind of the lacy detail that you see along the bottom edge. It's kind of a peplum style at the bottom. Also, it uses the Pico bind off, which is how you get the little um, Picos or the little kind of roughly edge that you see on the sleeve. And yeah, I already mentioned the peplum ruffle kind of at the bottom. You could probably make it as roughly or, you know, less roughly if you wanted to, but I think that this one is really good. The next pattern is called the Ranunculus by Midori House. and. I actually found this pattern through the Knitting Traditions podcast, which is hosted by Inga. And if you have never seen her podcast before, where do you live? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Really, if you've never heard of her before, definitely go check her YouTube channel out. I'll have it linked down below. She's one of my favorite podcasters. She knits a lot. She knits fast. She knits so many different projects and she uses a lot of rustic yarns. So I always learn something from her. She shares you know so much of her knitting knowledge in every single one of her episodes and anyway that's how i found this pattern and i'll flash a photo of her instagram whenever she finished the ranunculus at least her first one i think she said she wanted to knit another one i don't know if she has or not i don't remember but and i kind of need to catch up on her podcast but anyway the ranunculus looks like a fantastic pattern it's a yoke style so you it's a circular yoke. So you start from the top and you knit down and it's in the round. I believe there are some short rows. So if you're not familiar with that, you might need to brush up. There's a lot of YouTube tutorials on that. But if you look through or browse through any of the project photos that other people have made, there are so many, like there are over 12,000 projects. So, so many people have actually made this pattern. It just, you know it's a great pattern obviously it speaks for itself that that many people have actually knit it up but it's really cool because you can see how many different people make it differently so inga she actually made hers into short sleeves as you saw in that photo but i also saw somebody else who knit it it was still short sleeves but it came down further so it hit right above the elbow and i've also seen it where other people made it long sleeves um I could tell that some people used a different yarn. So some of them looked light, flowy, airy, perfect for the summertime. So that's why I mentioned this one. And um, you might wear something under it because it looks like it's a little bit see-through since it is so airy. But I also saw somebody else who made it into more of a sweater where you can't see through anything. It would probably be better for maybe the fall time or the winter time. And that person actually made the ribbing longer at the bottom and it just looks totally different but the same as the other projects so i think that this pattern you could do a lot with it you can make a lot of them just you know maybe modify it a little bit so that it looks different so yeah again i think that the ranunculus is the perfect summer pattern but you could also modify it for the winter time too the next pattern is called the Maya Summer Top and it's by the designer Bella Helms. And this pattern is incredible for multiple reasons. So as you can see in the photo, it looks like two totally different patterns, but you actually get these two patterns in one because this tank top is reversible. So on one side you have the buttons and on the other side you get the cables. So just depending on your mood or whatever you're wearing, you can choose to you know, wear one side or the other. So it looks totally different. Also, she doesn't stop there because she gives you two other options. You can either make the tank top straight or you can add the little peplum ruffle there at the bottom. So it's kind of like four different patterns in one. And I think that's incredibly generous of this designer to include that all in the, like all of those elements into one pattern. I really would like to check this one out for myself. And again, it's perfect for the summertime. It looks so comfortable. It looks very loose fitting and airy so perfect for that summer weather the next pattern is called the cinch me crop and this is by camille michaelis and i think this is so cute 
It would look good styled with jeans or a skirt. And I also think that it looks really cute cinched up or even straight and just tied. It's a little bit cropped, but you can make it even more cropped by cinching it up. If you look through the projects on Ravelry of the people that have made it, it looks great on everybody, all sorts of body types. And yeah, just definitely browse through it. You'll gain a lot of inspiration for this one. So this uses a worsted weight yarn, and I believe you can make this either with the cap sleeves, like in the photo, or you can make it into a tank top, just depending on which way you, or what look you're going for, I suppose. Also, it is knit top down, and if you do add the cap sleeves, it will require short rows, which you can find tutorials on YouTube if you've never done short rows before. They're really not that difficult. And also, the i-cord you'll learn how to do the i-cord if you've never knit one before and that is i'm assuming what is used for the little cinch part but all in all i think this this one is a really cute summery pattern and yeah definitely go check it out if you're interested the final pattern for this video is called the easy teasy by allison cribs it's this drop shoulder um t-shirt and I think that it looks really great. It uses eyelets so it's lacy, it's going to be very airy and flowy. Um, you would need to wear like, I guess I imagine people wearing it with a cute bralette underneath since you can kind of see through it. But also I think that this would be perfect for like a swimsuit cover up. So if you're going to the beach or the pool, I think that it would be good to style it that way as well. So this pattern uses a DK weight cotton yarn and it is knit top down. It sounds like you knit the collar part first and then you start on the back and then you end up picking up for the shoulders and then you'll end up joining it around and continuing down. And it does use eyelets, so you'll be knitting the lacy details with eyelets. So this looks like a really fun pattern. It looks very simple, pretty easy, and it's probably a quick project. So I think that this one is a perfect summer top as well. Well, there you have it. Those are 10 summer inspired knitting patterns for tanks and tees. I hope that you found one that you liked and that you want to cast on. So let me know which one has inspired you the most and which one you plan on casting on. I will probably go cast on one of these myself. I want to thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. You can also catch me on Instagram and Ravelry. I hope to see you here again and thanks again for watching.